good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Charmaine Chavez. Um, this feels a little awkward because it's been quite a while since I've done any sort of vlog style videos, but uh, I don't know. I just decided to pick up the camera this morning and share a little bit. So I actually just got our crock pot meal going. And let me just be honest and say, this is the first crock pot meal, actual crock pot meal that I have made, not in the instant pot. So I figured, yeah, let's go traditional today and do that. But if you're wondering, this is an old El Paso um, seasoning mix. This is one of the best seasoning mixes I have found for like a um, Spanish style beef, like shredded beef. Really, really good, highly recommend. And all you need for it is the beef roast, obviously, um, an onion and apple cider vinegar, and then a little bit of water. So very simple. I just took the beef itself and salted both sides and then seared it in a pan. That way it can lock in the juices and everything. But um, yeah, I need to finish drinking my pre-workout. And while I'm drinking that and it's kicking in, I'm going to finish unloading the dishwasher get my workout in and then shower because I need to do at least two eyeshadow looks today and take a little photo shoot with the new clothes that I got because I got a prime wardrobe box and I need to get those photos taken like ASAP, like two days ago, but <laughs> here we are. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll check back in with you later. Alrighty, slightly different look, really just different clothes, but um, it is now about 1.30 and just got the kids down for a nap. I've got coffee ready in hand. Today I made pumpkin cinnamon roll and it tastes really good, honestly. Uh, we went to Flagstaff yesterday and checked out our favorite like local coffee shop, which is Wicked Coffee. And they had pumpkin mocha, freaking delicious. I need to figure out how to make that. I have some pumpkin puree in the fridge that I need to use. So I'm kind of tempted to figure out how to make my own mocha latte. I don't know, something like that. Um, but now I need to get to work. I'm going to throw some dry shampoo in my hair, um, put on just kind of like a neutrally look, probably film a video swatching the new Vivid palette, which I don't, oh, I don't have the box open, but you can at least see it's got all these super fun. It's a very trending type of palette very excited to um, swatch those, go outside, take some photos because uh, the afternoon light is just so good um, with our like grass background, all that. Then I need to actually, I'll probably take a few pictures because um, I do have, like I said, some clothes from the Prime Wardrobe box. And then I will do at least one look from the Vivid palette. So I'll come back in, take my eyeshadow off, redo my eyeshadow. I, I have a look that you guys have been voting on in my stories. It's kind of like um, like an orange and teal color. It's going to be beautiful as long as I can figure out how to pull it off. Um, so yeah, if I have time, then I'll do a second vivid eyeshadow palette look, probably more like a monochromatic. Um, ooh, sorry, but we will see. My arm's getting tired. So I'm going to throw some dry shampoo in and get to work. I also forgot I wanted to tell you, I took my nails off and this is just, camera's having a hard time focusing. Um, this is just simply, my nails basically were popping off. They were kind of at the end of their life cycle. And then I just kind of buffed my nails, threw some cuticle oil on and just some hand cream. My hands have been super dry in this weather, but yeah, I just thought I would show you that. My nails look really nice and healthy even through using these um, press-on nails. These are my next ones I'm gonna use. Let me see if I can get a better picture for you guys. They're so stinking pretty. Ugh, I'm beyond blessed to have such an amazing nail girl that she found these for me. But I'm trying to decide when I'm gonna put them on because, um, what's today? Today is the 20th. Yeah, today is the 20th. And they're like total Halloween nails. I don't have any other Halloween nails on hand. So I kind of want them to last through Halloween. And I don't want them to get like scuffed up. The mat kind of gets a little scuffed up like after about a week. 
just because I'm honestly rough on my nails, but uh, I might like wait a day or two to put them on. Maybe I'll just throw some like fall colored nail polish on. Russia? Hey. Russia? Mommy shark. Mommy shark? Yay, yeah, mommy shark. Oh, cool. Oh, mommy. Mommy shark. Here was big. <laughs> Quick little update. So clearly I finished my makeup. Little man is up from his nap. I got in several real filming. Hi, Boshu Elk. Cow. Boshu Elk. Boshu Elk Cow. I'm sorry. I don't know why he needs to be that close, but he wanted to tell you Boshu Elk. We love talking about that. That has been the phrase of the month, really. Hi, Scout. Um, but anyway, check this out. I just swatched all of the vivid palette and look at this beautiful rainbow do we love it ricky you love the rainbow oh my gosh i can't get over it, it looks so beautiful i don't even want to wash it off i did not use any eyeshadow sorry for the close-up i didn't use any eyeshadow primer on my arm or anything these are strictly just totally swatched on there you can check out my instagram for an actual swatch photo. Yeah. Oh man, I'm transferring out everything. I need to go wash this off. Um, but I got, did my makeup, my hair, literally I curled like literally half of my head um, just to make it look like something. Um, I used the Iconic eyeshadow palette. If you're curious, I used my two favorite shades, Leader and Bliss, literally two favorite shades. Leader goes all over the lid, Bliss, is my crease transition color. Um, the key to that is just having a really good uh, shade, uh, blender brush. So you want a really good fluffy brush. I personally love pharmacy, sorry. I personally love pharmacies. Um, I do also have a Morphe blending brush. Uh, to be honest, I hate it. <laughs> I said it, I hate it, but um, yeah. Loving the new, coffee dark coffee lipstick color this is our bb matte lipstick so they're actually really moisturizing it has vitamin e in it as well but um Mama, yes babe no. oh he's just laying there it's okay he's just laying in the dirt uh anyway um did hair makeup filmed some before and afters of reels uh what else did i do had a little photo session with a few of the outfits that I got. So cute, stay tuned for those, or you may have already seen them over on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I need to go wash this off now. And what is my plan for today? I'm still aiming to do an eyeshadow look with the Vivid palette, but at this point it's probably going to be after dinner. Um, oh, which reminds me, I completely forgot that I had the roast in the crock pot. You probably didn't forget because this vid video hasn't been very long, but yeah, I need to go check on that. Shred the meat so that it can soak up in all the juices and everything. Really, that's the secret when you're cooking a crock pot meal. Um, and figure out what else I'm serving with that. We're probably just having tacos. I might make some rice because Sienna has, ooh, nope, I'm not making rice because we don't have any tomato sauce. <laughs> that's a fail on my part. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much all we're doing. Still aiming to do a vivid eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, eyeshadow look. Like I said, probably be after dinner and I need to go clean up the bedroom, do a little laundry and just hang out with the kids. <laughs> he looks so cute back there. He loves digging. I feel like I should get him um, like a sandbox, but my fear is because we live in Arizona, um, like scorpions and things, I think like to hide in them. You okay? Dog poop poop. Oh, it's dog poop. Well, don't go over there. Yuck. Yuck. Anyway, check in with you guys later. Well, hello there. It is the next morning. I was trying to do this while the, the light was red, but um, last night's dinner was delicious. The meat, turned out so well. Seriously, the um, El Paso, uh, what is that? Barbacoa beef um, seasoning, the one that I showed at the beginning of this vlog, 
It's the best one. It flavors the meat so nicely. Um, you don't even have to add salt or anything like that. So I highly recommend that. Um, I do not want to be behind this mixer truck. So anyway, that was all good. I basically made like barbacoa nachos, not nachos. I keep calling them that fries. Um, it was delicious. But anyway, I uh, wanted to end out this vlog. We are just leaving the kid's doctor's office so that they could get their flu shots. Um, Sienna got hers, little Ricky could not because he had a little temperature. Um, so just have to go back in a week or two just to make sure that it, it's nothing. And which is good because normally when he gets any kind of vaccine, he's always the one that has like, just like crappy feeling afterwards. He's like my little softy guy. So that's fine. We were going to go to Costco, but I'm just going to take the kids home. I don't really want to take them out anywhere if he's got a little temperature. So yeah, we are headed home thought that I would just end the vlog now since I did not last night. If you didn't see it, I posted in my, um, in Char's Confidence Corner, the look that I did with the eyeshadow, the vivid eyeshadow palette last night. Um, it, it was okay. It didn't turn out quite as good as I wanted it to, but that's okay. It was the first one. I'm going to do one today, um, all purple shades. Because if you did not know, um, October itself, as we know, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, as well as Child and Infant Loss, uh, or pregn Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, as well as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So anyway, today is Domestic Violence Awareness Day, um, Purple Thursday, hashtag Purple Thursday, or hashtag wear purple. I hope you all wore your purple today, and I'm gonna try and do like a monochromatic purple eyeshadow look with the Vivid palette. I have an idea in my mind, we'll see how that turns out. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here, heading home, probably make the kids some lunch now, and have a good rest of the day. Thank you guys for joining me in this quick little vlog. I hope you'll stick around and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, just kidding. How about a special glimpse into the um, special bundle that I was telling you about? So a portion of every bundle purchased will go to the Lotus House Shelter. Um, if you look up that tag on Instagram or Facebook, it will pop up for you. You can learn so much more information about them. But um, specifically, it'll be going to the Lotus House Miami. That is where pharmacy is headquartered. Um, but let, let me just show you what comes in this bundle. This is regularly like a hundred and... Why am I blinking? I think it's like 105 or more regularly. And it's only 85 um, through the end of October. Today's the 21st. So make sure that you, if it's still October, take advantage of this because... Not only is it for a good cause, but you're getting a really, really good amount of products for a pretty good deal. So you get number one, this cute little, it's a drawstring backpack, but also an actual like little cute bag, like a tote bag, right? You can use it when you go to the grocery store. You can use it when your kids go to their special camps, um, gymnastics. Bring it with you when you have to go and sit at all the baseball, softball games, whatever. Um, so that's the first thing you get. It has a nice little pocket Velcro here on the front for easy, easily, like your phone could go in there easily without having to undo the Velcro. Then when you open it, it has two separate, oh my gosh, it's got two separate compartments. So one side that's completely open and then you can open the middle here by Velcro and you have a whole other section. Um, it fill, it goes all the way down the bag like that. So I have put all of the actual makeup products in here that you get in the bundle. So basically when you buy this bundle, the way that the pricing works out, you're getting the not only the bag for free, but also the blush. All these items are pink themed. So this is, I want to say Modern Ballet. Let me double check on the name for you. Sugar Pink. I was wrong. Sugar Pink, which is still a beautiful shade, 
it is this nice, it has minimal shimmer. So Modern Ballet has a lot of shimmer to it in the blush. And this is more of a softer pink, sugar pink. Very nice. This would actually be really good for um, like Christmas and New Year parties. Um, just to add a little shimmer for your blush. So you're going to get a creamy, long lasting creamy eyeshadow. Um, this is the one in the box. I'm not going to open it. This is my personal one. And it comes in this nice little pot. These shadows are really good, you guys. Number one, they're really good on their own. Um, but they're also great as like a topper. So you can just use your finger, which is honestly my preferred method. Just dip that in there, dab it over your eyelid, and you're good to go. Maybe grab a blending brush and just kind of blend out like the crease area. And seriously, you're good to go. But here is the Pink Glow Creamy Shadow. Then you're going to get the Limitless Mascara, which is not a pink mascara, but it is a pink tube. Super nice. This mascara is actually one of our newest and it has the Capixel formula in it. It's a volume mascara, but it's got the Capixel formula in it that's going to actually grow, lengthen and strengthen your lashes. It has that nice hourglass um, shaped wand. Um, there is a couple mascaras that this is kind of a dupe for, but honestly better because number one, it is um, vegan, European standard, all those things. So like I said, Capixel infused volume mascara. Then you're going to get three lip items. Let's talk about the first one. You're going to get a nude lip gloss and these nude glosses are shea butter infused, but it's more of like an opaque formula. This one is satin pink. So it comes in a nice little box here. This is the packaging on the lip gloss. It is rose gold, nice clear, and you can see this is the shade. And you guys, when you put this on, this is the shade of lip gloss that you're gonna see. Really beautiful, and it's not super sticky. Like a lot of lip glosses, it's very moisturizing and hydrating to your lips. So really perfect going into fall right now. Then we're going to see our VFX Elite Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Again, you're gonna see the rose gold packaging here. This shade is Flamingo Pink, and how gorgeous is this, you guys? Um, honestly, I know a lot of people love browns and like warmer tones like that for fall, but this is really just a good pop of color with any outfit, honestly. And it has the um, photo filter technology in it, so it's going to help blur any of your lip lines, anything like that, when you're taking pictures, especially. Lastly, we're going to see Mauve Pink Liquid Lipstick. These are our original formula liquid lipsticks. You guys, I'm so beyond in love with these. They will not dry your lips out, I promise you. They last eight plus hours a day, so you apply it once. They're good to go underneath masks if you have to wear a mask at work. Um, you may not think that wearing lipstick makes a difference, but you guys, it does. You still take your mask off occasionally throughout the day and people are going to see your lipstick and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I need that. So it just adds like a nice little neutral pop of pink color. This is, I don't know if I mentioned, but it is mauve pink. So those are all the items you're going to receive. You'll receive the three lip products, the Limitless Capixel Infused Mascara, your creamy pink glow eyeshadow and then your sugar pink blush all included in this nice little tote bag slash drawstring backpack so yeah that's all that comes in there so if it is still October run over to my site I'll have the direct link to this bundle down below um like I said proceeds go towards Lotus House which um, helps women and families dealing with homelessness or just general domestic violence issues. Um, so kind of in that limbo stage. And yeah, who doesn't love some good pink products for the season? So that really does it for my vlog today. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on all my socials. I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.